Hey everyone, this is Nick with Big Data Linux, a Linux distribution focused on data science and large-scale machine learning. And in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you can get up and running really quickly on AWS with data science and Big Data Linux. The first thing you do is log into your management console. If you don't have an account, you'll have to sign up for one. But type in your credentials. Go to the EC2 tab. Launch an instance. Community AMIs. Public images. And then do a search for big data. And this takes a little bit to filter through, so I'm going to take a shortcut since I own the account. I can do this. And go to the most recent one you see. And we're actually going to use something with two cores here since we're using, we're going to run a quick example that leverages multi-core. And taking the defaults there is fine. Give it a name. And keep whatever key pair you want because by default we use password authentication for these images um, because we're doing some, there's some extra features that actually require it. And make sure you have a security group that's set up with SSH. If you don't know how to do that, just go to create a group. SSH. Give it a description. And click on SSH. Keep the source there fine. And that's it. Now you can click continue. And go ahead and launch the instance. And then if you go into the instances, you can see the instance we just started is pending. Now this actually takes a little bit, maybe five, 10 minutes to get the instance actually up and running with good status checks. So save a little bit of time. I have one already running, but now we're just going to log into this. So we want to copy this and go to our terminal. And the default user to these is play. And the default password is also play. So after you log in, you'll want to definitely change that with this command. And then it'll prompt you to change the password. But since I'm terminating this after we're done, it's not a big deal. And in the home directory, you'll see we have this directory with big data examples. If you go into it, You'll see we have various examples for different machine learning softwares that are kind of a work in progress, but we're going to run the example. And we're going to run a graph lab example here. If you haven't checked out graph lab, you definitely should. That's graphlab.org. It's a really cool project out of Carnegie Mellon that actually is a new approach to parallel computing and machine learning. So they have an API that allows you to implement machine learning algorithms in parallel. And they've just released version 2.1, which allows you to do distributed computations in parallel as well. And we're just going to quickly run this example. Now what this is doing is it's going through and running and alternating least squares matrix factorization in parallel. You can see we have two worker threads going. And then after that, it goes through and computes some recommendations for those users. Now in the project, we have all of that stuff explained in detail in the various readme files throughout the project. You can see we kind of go through here and describe, you know, what things are doing and why they're doing it. And, oops. If you kind of want to know how you generate recommendations off of a matrix factorization like that, I actually made a really small Python script that looks like this. And it kind of goes through and shows you 
and talks about you know how it actually computes those recommendations. So if you want to run that, all you have to do is type Python and then give it the name of the script and then give it the destination of the matrix factorizations, which are going to by default be in your home directory and in the graph lab folder under data sets. And it's going to be movie lens. Oops. Give it that file. And give it that file. So the only difference between these two files, if you notice, is a .u at the end and .v. Whoops. Spelled Python wrong. And then it goes through and generates a bunch of recommendations for all the users. Now you'll notice how long this is taking and Graph Lab was done in a matter of a few seconds. So you can kind of appreciate having the really efficient and multi-core approach to computing some of these problems. But, and then to kill that, it's gonna run forever, but to, what I did to kill it is I just um, did a control C and that does a keyboard interrupt and will kill the actual process. And that concludes this quick example with Big Data Linux. Stay tuned and we should have more examples coming out in the near future.